Hi practitioners, Dr. Nat here, and I want you to mentally go through your electronic medical records and think about any of your patients that have the following symptoms. Steatorrhea or fat in their stools, a degree of yellowing in their stools, watery diarrhea that is explosive, intestinal cramping that's relieved from a bowel movement, urgency, or if any of these above symptoms are worse with fat intake. Our new stool omics is now testing for both primary and secondary bile acids in stool. Both are gonna have some effect on motility, but the above symptoms are screaming bile acid diarrhea, which has more to do with primary bile acids, so I'm just gonna highlight those here. Bile acid diarrhea means that this patient is either overproducing primary bile acids or more commonly, not reabsorbing them in the distal ileum. 95% of our primary bile acids are reabsorbed in a healthy individual. If they are not, these bile acids will draw water into the lumen of the intestinal tract and irritate the intestinal mucosa, causing those above symptoms. Bile acid diarrhea, or BAD, is more common than you think. One third of patients with IBSD actually have BAD or bile acid diarrhea. If this sounds like one of your patients, add the stool omics add on to their next GI map and see if these primary bile acids are high in their stool and causing these unpleasant symptoms.